Hi boys and girls and welcome to this week's Flipped Learning for Maths. This week we're practicing our addition skills by learning to add three numbers together. For this lesson you're going to need a number line and some cubes or counters. Before we start let's just try and remember what addition is. Addition means we are adding we are taking two groups or three groups and adding them together to find the total or how many together. This is the sign we use for addition. It's the addition or the plus sign. This is the sign we use for equals or the total. Let's get started. Here we have an addition sum with three numbers. Can you read it with me? 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals. Adding three numbers is a little tricky, so I'm going to show you a good way you can learn how to do it. I have got three different coloured cubes. First, I'm going to take four orange cubes. Can you help me count? One, two, three, four. Then I am going to add two green cubes. One, two. And finally, I'm going to add one pink or red cube. One. Now I have four orange cubes plus two green cubes plus one red cube. All I have to do now is count how many cubes all together to find the total or how much four plus two plus one is equal to. Can you help me count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four plus two plus one equals seven. Let's write that in our number sentence. Four plus means we're adding, our numbers are getting bigger. Two plus one equals seven. Well done, that was some really good adding. Let's try another one together. This number sentence says, Five plus two plus two equals. How many orange cubes should I take first? That's right, five. Let's count them out. One, two, three, four, five. Now, how many green cubes do I need? Two, well done. One, two, and finally, how many red cubes do I need? Two. Well done. One, two. Now let's count how many cubes all together to find the total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The total is nine. That means five plus two plus two equals nine. Well done, you are amazing. Give yourself a firework. Well done. Now let's try a harder one with bigger numbers. This number sentence says seven plus four plus three equals. Let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I need four green cubes. One, two, three, four. And last, I need three red cubes. One, two, three. Now we can find the total by counting all our cubes. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
7 plus 4 plus 3 equals 14. Well done, you're getting very good at these. Now we can move on to trying to solve addition sums with three numbers using a number line. We've got three numbers, 2 plus 3 plus 4. Let's find 2 on the number line first. And we are adding 3. Can you help me jump on? 1, 2, 3. But our number sentence isn't finished yet. We still need to add 4 more. Let's count on. 1, 2, 3, 4. I landed on 9. Did you? Fantastic. 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 9. Now you're ready to try these by yourself. Pause the video and have a go. You can either use cubes or a number line. Good luck. Well done. Now let's try something a little trickier. Let's apply our skills to solve a word problem. We get five apples, three bananas, and two oranges. How many fruits in all? Hmm. First, we have to find the important information in the word problem so that we can make a number sentence that we can solve. We get five apples. That must be group number one. Five plus three bananas. That's group number two. And two oranges. That's group number three. Our number sentence is five plus three plus two. Now we need to find the total. Let's do it on the number line. Let's start on five and we are adding three. One, two, three. But we're not finished yet because we still have to add two more. So let's count on again. One, two. I landed on ten, did you? Great work. You're very good at this. Now you can pause the video and try your own word problem at home. And I'll see you next time for our flipped learning. Bye.